Hey everyone, uh, this is kind of a new project that I started. Um, I saw this video of uh, this server called, well I guess the, the website's called Minecraft uh, Middle Earth, but um, the server is basically dedicated to recreating um, J.R. Tolkien's uh, Lord of the Rings universe um, within the server. So they've actually done a whole lot and uh, Moria's from this video I saw there's like Rivendell, Moria, and the Shire is what they've completed so far. And they look really good. Um, so I decided to kind of just make my own Hobbit hole with one of their, with their texture pack that they created. Um, and so I decided upon this little hill. Um, it had a nice hill on top of the bigger hill with like an opening area. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but I also saw this little marsh swamp area and so I'm gonna call this the dead marshes um, and then over here there's kind of a forest so I'm gonna call that uh, the old forest um, obviously they're not this close in the actual uh, Middle Earth but um, just for these purposes and then also um, I'm gonna call this um, Henneth Anun uh, there's a little cave there uh, with the waterfall um, and the, the pool below. Um, so we just kind of need Gollum fishing for a fish down there. Um, but anyways, um, so I started building my habit hole up here. I added all this, uh, this walkway, some flowers, some nice lanterns, um, some trees, I added that big tree up there. Um, but yeah, you just walk on up the pathway and then you get up here come up to the sign welcome to Zoob's humble abode so we'll open up the gate um, and as we enter uh, we come to this kind of open area it has a nice little bar some some alcohols there some drinks um, a couple st stoves to cook your food um, some tables to cook or craft if you needed to craft any of your food um, we come to this room. Oh, that's missing a door. I'll put one in there. Um, but we have um, this is I have three rooms like this, and each has a chest, um, a bed, some library or some books, um, a couple of cabinets, um, and a cushion and a coat hanger. And then here's another one of those. So same exact layout. And then we have a nice view of the old forest over there, and I guess that's probably part of the classify that probably part is the, the dead marshes because it's a marsh but um, yeah so that's facing west or east so you see the sunrise um, if we walk over here we have another kind of guest room uh, same layout um, then if we come in here we have a nice little study area you can sit and read some books sit by the fire talk um, about your quest that you'll be undertaking. Uh, this is an east-facing window, so you can see the sun sunset. Um, and then we come down to the second level, or the ground floor, I guess. And we come into this room, which is a bigger study-type area, I guess, what you call it, kind of a sitting room. We got a giant table with some chairs, a nice fire, some more books to read, um, some more drinks, stoves, and everything you need, some more chests. Um, we make our way across the hall, and we have some more chests. This is kind of like a uh, pantry, I guess what you call it, um, wine cellar or whatever, whatever have you. And then we have, in here is the master bedroom. So we got some nice ceiling, um, some books, some more uh, seating tables, and then we come over here, and we have the master bedroom. Um, this is the fire to the other sitting room area, and um, yeah, so this is the inside of my little hobbit hole that I've made. Uh, it took probably about four or five hours to make. Um, it's not too long, but I put enough detail into it where to make it look good. Um, and then I'll kind of just show you the outside. We have a little sapling that hasn't grown yet. Um, here is the first floor's window uh, facing east. Sorry, west. Um, and if you look back here, here are those two windows going down. I actually had to add some of this dirt because my hobbit hole extended too far. So the original cliff was kind of like right here. So I had to extend out a little bit. 
and then I had to extend this a little bit to make uh, that skylight as well. There's a skylight to that sitting room. I don't know if I showed you that, but this is the first floor sitting room. There's a skylight there. Um, here's my big tree that I made. And then we have, this are the bedrooms. So we have uh, bedroom, one of the bedrooms is right here. I don't have a window. Um, the other bedroom is right here. And then we have the hallway window, and then we have the master bedroom window right there. You can see the fire going. So, oh yeah, here's the, sorry, here's the other window to the, the bedroom. So, that is just my hobbit hole that I've made using Minecraft Middle Earth's texture pack. So, um, I you should go check out the video. The video I saw was um, under Outside the Blocks. It's like a Minecraft video blog type thing. Um, it's like a 45 minute video, but yeah, it's pretty cool. You should check it out. Um, I'll probably put the URL in the description. Um, and then if you want, you can head on over to minecraftmiddleearth.com to check out more about that server um, and see some more pictures and what have you not of what they've done. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Check back later.